Hey, folks, welcome to the show. You are looking at the sky because today we're going to talk about managing the cloud. Hey, guys, and welcome to the show. Um, today, I have the distinct honor of introducing you to Jamin Allman. He's a uh, SCCM Secure Infrastructure PFE extraordinaire, and uh, he's going to talk to us about managing uh, the cloud, managing Office 365 with SCCM, and I promise the solar eclipse won't affect anything. So, uh, Jamin, how's it going, man? Good. How are you today, Lux? Good. I'm doing good. Are you... Uh, it looks like you're in your home office today. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I try to work from home uh, as much as possible, considering I'm on the road most of the time. Yeah, you and me both, man. I, I think uh, this is week 10 where I've traveled. Uh, next week, I'm not going anywhere, though, so uh, kind of excited about that. Um, so uh, we talked briefly before the show, and uh, one of the things that you asked me was... Uh, you know, did I want you to do PowerPoints or demos? And I said, man, I'd love demos. Um, we, we get kind of PowerPointed to death on this show. So I'm kind of excited to see what you brought with you. Well, thank you very much. And, uh, yeah, I always prefer demos. Yep, absolutely. So I assume that's one of the reasons why we're doing this in your home office, right? You've probably got some great Azure connectivity and uh, you've got some cool stuff to show us, I'm sure. Uh, yes, sir. Um, I do have Azure connectivity, but uh, this one's actually running on my home lab, but uh, it would run or function just the same up in Azure as well. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Well, I'm going to let you get to it. I love demos, and I'm not going to hold anybody back. All right. Well, thank you very much. All right. So we're going to move on to the demo portion of today's uh, conversation. So I wanted to start just by showing you inside the SCCM console here, the Office 365 Client uh, Management Power BI Dashboard. And as you can see directly from this dashboard, it's going to give you a high-level overview of the Office 365 or click-to-run clients that you may have inside your environment. It's going to show you your Office 365, the number of clients that you have, your Office 365 explicit or click-to-run client version that you have. If we scroll down just a little bit, and maybe you're going to have multiple languages. It's also going to show you all of that information at your fingertips. Now, if we keep going down, it's also going to show you all of the different uh, channels that you have, whether you're doing current channel, deferred channel, first run channel, so on and so forth. You'll be able to see all of this data right here at your fingertips. And not only that, directly inside the Power BI console, you're also going to see your uh, deployment statistics as they relate to your Office 365 deployments within your environment. The number of successful runs, errors, and the number of machines that you actually have targeted that may not have actually installed quite yet. So, you might be wondering yourself, how do I get all this wonderful data to appear in my Power BI dashboard? So, there's a couple of minimal steps that are required in order to make all of this work. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to enable SCCM to be able to download the Office 365 click to run uh, installers and or updates. So in order to accomplish that, I'm going to select administration. And if I go ahead and expand site configuration, select my site. As soon as this populates, go ahead and select my site in the middle window, right click and select configure site components. Now we're going to select Software Update Point. And once inside of our Software Update Point, we need to go to our Products tab. So if we go ahead and scroll down this list, you'll see our Office 365 client. That's affectionately going to be called the uh, Click to Run. And that's what we need to synchronize from the Microsoft Update Catalog into the SCCM database in order to make all of this uh, possible and capable. So naturally, I have pre-selected that and downloaded that data inside of SCCM, so I'm just going to cancel this real quick. And then we also need to enable the Office 365 click-to-run client to uh, be able to receive its updates from SCCM. Now, there's several different ways to accomplish this goal. Prior to SCCM 1602, or excuse me, uh, 1702, you had to download and enable the Office Com 
the Office Management Com, and you would do that inside of your configuration XML. So if we open this up, you'll notice that I have the Office Com object set to true here, and that's what's actually going to enable SECM to be able to take over management of that Office Click to Run client. So if you already have Office 365 deployed in your environment, you could very easily script this out and deploy that to uh, append this configuration file. You can also control all of this directly inside of SCCM from your client settings. So if we go to administration and then client settings, I'm just going to open up the default client settings, right click and select properties. And down here on your software updates tab, if we select that, and then scroll down just a little bit. Then you're going to notice the Enable Management at Office 365 Client Agent. And you can go ahead and set this to Yes. So now you have two available ways in order to enable SCCM to manage the click to run client within your environment. If one of those previously mentioned ways don't work, you could very easily do it from a group policy perspective. So let me switch over to my domain controller. And I have preloaded the Office 365 2016 administrative templates inside of my domain controller. But right here, the line that I have highlighted is Office 365 Client Management. And if you open this guy up, all you have to do is set it to Enabled. And what that's going to do is it's going to set a registry key value down on your clients. All right, so we have now given you two different ways to enable the Office Com object for the click to run client within Office. So let's go ahead and demonstrate how you would build a deployment directly inside of SCCM in order to install uh, Office 365 or click to run within your environment. So if we go to Software Library and we select Office 365 Client Management, you'll notice right here we have an Office 365 installer. If we select this plus button real quick, go ahead and give this a appropriate name. So we're going to demonstrate Office 365 current branch. And I need to give it a storage location real quick. So let's go ahead and feed this. And the storage location is just the location that SCCM is going to download the bits for installation and use for uh, distribution. And if I select that folder. And perfect. It's just telling me that it must be empty, so we'll fix that real quick. There we go. All right, now that we have a new folder to store all of our installation bits with, I'm just going to select Next. And I'm going to manually specify the Office 365 client settings. Within your environment, if you're already running Office 365 and maybe you already have it deployed and you've done some customizations to your configuration.xml, you could very easily select the option to import those pre-existing settings for your environment. For the purposes of this demonstration, we're just going to manually specify. So choose Next. And here, as you can see, we can select all of the appropriate products that we would like to do. Uh, you notice down here on the bottom, you can also automatically install Visio and or product project if you so choose. So I'm just going to choose next. Naturally, we have our 32-bit option and our 64-bit option. You can select your channel, where you, whether you're doing current, deferred, first release current, or first release for deferred. For the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to do current. And we're going to choose the latest and greatest build. Down here in the bottom, you have several different options. You can accept the EULA, uh, the end user licensing agreement. So you're going to have to accept this at some point, whether it be on your endpoints or whether you do it from the server level. So we're just going to go ahead and select it from the server level. And I'm going to go ahead and select auto out activation. That way, the account that I log into my machine with, it's automatically going to register and activate my office installation. Select Next, and I'm going to say, yes, I do want to deploy this application now, and Next. So here I've got to select my collection in which I'm going to deploy this application to. So I am going to 
deploy this to a device collection or a system. So I have a collection pre-built here, Windows 10, Office 365. Select OK and select Next. This is just getting the content out there on my distribution point. Remember from an SCCM perspective, a distribution point is nothing more than a fancy file server. And select Next. So here's just my enforcement actions, whether or not I'm going to install this as required or make it available. For the purposes of this demonstration, we're just going to make it available. Select Next. For my scheduling, because it's available, I'm not going to enforce policy or automatic installation, so just next again. And this is the notifications that my end user might see. So for the purpose of this demonstration, we're going to display in Software Center and show all notifications. And next. And for what we're doing, we don't necessarily need alerts, so I'm going to say next. And this is just a summary. So you always want to read through your summary and make sure that you're doing what you think you're doing, most importantly, the uh, product that you're deploying, and even more importantly, the collection in which you're deploying it to. We would hate to send a uh, installation of Visio to your whole environment, right? All right, now that SCCM has automatically downloaded our installation bits, I can go and look at the application that it built for us. So in order to accomplish that, I'm gonna select Software Library, Expand Application Management, and select my applications top level. Here's the one that we just built, Office 365 underscore 1704. And just like any other application that you would build inside of SCCM, it has all of the necessary properties, uh, deployment types, so on and so forth that you might require. So if we cancel here, just because all that's built, and we'll switch over to a client machine real quick so that you can see what that would look like for installation. And go ahead and get this guy loaded. So I have uh, opened up the SCCM Software Center where all applications are going to be published for installation. And if I select this, I can very simply select Install. And here in just a second, you're going to see the Office Click to Run uh, window pop up. And it will begin the installation. So a lot of my customers ask me on a regular basis, well, what happens if I have several different channels within my environment? For example, my production environment is going to be release ready, but for testing purposes, then I need to be current release. So you can accomplish that by simply setting a registry value that's going to tell SCCM and the Office Click to Run client uh, what branch it would be. So in order to control that from SCCM, let's switch back over here. You can do that several different ways. You could accomplish this goal with group policy, a script, or any other uh, various ways. What I'm going to demonstrate for you is keeping everything within SCCM. So I'm going to go to Assets and Compliance, Expand Compliance Settings, Select Configuration Items, excuse me, Expand Configuration Items, and I made a little folder here for Office 365. So as you can see, I have my different uh, configuration items that I would deploy for my environment. So we're going to open up the current channel just for demonstration purpose. And you'll notice if we go to our settings tab, and if I open this up real quick, then all I'm saying here is I'm saying this registry value in this location, hotkey, local machine, software, Microsoft Office, click to run configuration, CDN base URL, needs to equal this particular web address. Now, does this mean that the Office click to run client is going to go out to the web in order to download its updates? No, it does not. All it means is that we are specifying via this registry setting what updates the Office uh, 365 client will accept, whether that be current branch uh, excuse me, current branch, excuse me, current channel, future release channel, or deferred channel. So that's the way that we can identify it. Now, if you wanted to get really fancy, you could go into SCCM and then naturally build your collections based on those registry values and then do automatic deployment rules uh, in order to keep your environment up to date as possible. Yeah. So there's... Pretty cool. Thank you, Lex. I'm glad that you're enjoying it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm also kind of enjoying, I don't know what software you're running during the presentation, but, you know, when you click on something, you get that little pulse that shows you what you're clicking on. 
That's pretty cool too. So that requires you to be able to multitask with both hands. <laughs> so uh -huh. uh, it's a setting within Windows. You can tell it that anytime you press your control key, then it's going to give you that little uh, accentuation mark. Wow, that's pretty cool, man. I didn't know that. Yep. So the one last thing that I want to show you real quick is I've shown you how to identify your release channel. I've shown you how to download and install it for deployment. Well, now I need to keep it up to date. And we can do that in an automated fashion. If I go to my software library and select Office 365 Client Management, you'll notice down here I have a Create ADR. ADR stands for Automatic Deployment Rule. So if we select this and give it an appropriate name, current channel, I've got to target a collection real quick. Naturally, I have a pre-built collection here for Office 365 current channel. Select OK. And next. Yep. Evidently, I may have demoed this once or twice before, and I already had a pre-existing ADR with that name. So select next. And here I'm just going to say success and error messages. That way SCCM is aware that it installed and or if I had issues. Once again, I'm going to automatically approve my licensing at the server level so my end users aren't affected. Select Next. So here I need to select my product. I'm going to do date released or revised. Uh, that is not necessarily required. So we'll actually skip that. And we'll do superseded. So for my product, as you could guess, I need to find Office 365 client. Select OK. And I'm just going to say superseded of no. That way I'm not getting any, getting any of the older patches. Now if I select my preview button, as you can see, we now have all of the different Office 365 channels uh, available to me. And if I wanted to filter this down, then I can go ahead and add a title here. And let's filter this down a little bit. Let's give that a shot. Preview. And now you can see my list is drastically shorter and I'm only going to show anything that has a current channel. So by the process of filtering out by title, then we can quickly and easily eliminate all of the ones that are not appropriate for my environment. So select close. I'm going to set this up to run on a schedule. So I only want to update my environment maybe monthly and I'm going to select the third Wednesday of every month. Select OK. Select Next. So my deployment schedule is just my enforcement schedule of uh, how quickly and how often I want these updates to install within my environment. So select Next. Once again, I want my users to be notified of anything that I'm doing within their environment. If that's not appropriate for your environment, you can always hide all notifications if necessary. Select Next. Uh, we don't need alerts for what we're doing for the purposes of this demonstration. So Next again. And Next again. And I'm just going to tell it what deployment package I want to use. And we're going to select OK there. Select Next. Download location. I'm going to go pull these updates from the internet or Microsoft and select next. Select any and all appropriate languages as they adhere to your environment. Select next. And once again, we get a summary page. So as always, I'm going to verify the collection in which I'm deploying to, what is actually going to be deployed, and uh, my schedule, which is down here as well. If I select next, now SCCM is going to go out there and download all of the appropriate updates for me, and it will automatically deploy them within my environment as well. So from a high level, uh, you have now configured your environment to not only download and install Office 365 click to run, uh, you can also keep it updated in an automated fashion as well. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So we, we just treat Office 365 endpoints like any other network endpoint, essentially. Uh, yes, sir, correct. Thanks, man. That was pretty cool. Is there a minimum version of SCCM that they need to be able to do this? Is this functionality that's widely available or just in, like, the latest version? 
Uh, yes, sir. Some of these capabilities are available in 1610, but to be able to accomplish everything that we went over in today's demo, you would need to be running 1702 minimal. Okay. All right, cool. That's, that, that's awesome. Is there a, a, a good website or a document reference that you can share with us so that if somebody wants to learn more about this, they can, they can go read up on it? Yes, sir. I'll be more than willing to uh, add those different websites in the abstract section below uh, for our customers to be able to reference. All right. That's awesome. Well, man, thank you so much for doing that demo. That was awesome. Not a problem. Thank you very much for uh, having me on the show, and hopefully our customers get some benefit here. Yeah, absolutely. I think they will. This is definitely informative. Um, well, thanks again, man, and uh, that's our Taste of Premiere.